Hi everyone, welcome to this week's lecture on data mining. So we're going to be focusing on the data mining techniques that can help us as business managers in making more informed decisions. And everybody here knows that with the amount of data that we collect these days, uh, data mining techniques can be extremely helpful in determining the patterns and trends in the data that we wouldn't see otherwise. So um, for this week's lecture, we're going to categorize data mining models and techniques into two basic categories. The first one is descriptive and the second one is predictive. Um, the reason why data mining category, uh, sorry, data mining models and techniques are divided in these two categories is it helps you differentiate um, on when to apply which type of model on the data depending on the objective of the analysis. So um, there are other ways to categorize data mining techniques and we're going to talk about one other way of categorizing data mining techniques later on. But for now we're going to focus on these two categories of models. Now remember that descriptive and predictive data mining techniques are just a class of techniques. Um, they're you, when you talk about a descriptive data mining technique, it's not going to be one specific model that you're talking about. There are plenty of models that fall under that class. Um, and then depending on the type of analysis you're doing, you would select one of those descriptive models to be applied to your data set. The same goes for predictive modeling techniques as well. So um, for the purpose of this module, uh, we are going to cover an overview of some of the more popular descriptive and predictive data mining models. Now, uh, keep in mind that data mining is a vast field on its own, and uh, just one module is not enough to cover all the models that are uh, that that come under the data mining umbrella. So uh, our objective in this module wouldn't be to focus too much on one specific model. Instead, we're going to cover an overview of the most popular models. And the goal is to understand which models are applied when, and how do you interpret the results of those models. That way, if you want to find out more about one specific model, then you can dig deeper and find out the methodology of that model and cover it in more detail. But for the purpose of this class, we're only focusing on a broad overview of the different types of models that are out there for us to use. So um, Moving on to slide number three of this presentation, uh, you'll notice that uh, a new term has been introduced here called unsupervised learning. Now, in the beginning of the video lecture, I mentioned that data mining models are divided into two distinct classes, descriptive and predictive. Um, there is another type of categorization as well for data mining techniques, and that falls under supervised learning techniques, unsupervised learning techniques, and the third one is semi-supervised learning techniques. Um, these, the definition of supervised and unsupervised learning techniques uh, overlap with the definitions of predictive and descriptive learning techniques, but uh, think of these just different ways to categorize data mining. So uh, most of the descriptive data mining techniques also fall under the unsupervised learning techniques and most of the predictive data mining techniques also fall under the supervised learning techniques. Now we're going to cover a bit more on, on, on the difference between predictive and descriptive data mining techniques, but uh, just to briefly touch up on what the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning is that in a supervised learning algorithm or in a supervised learning technique, um, we have input variables as well as output variables. So think of, for example, I want to find out how many um, 
sunglasses I'm going to sell this summer depending on the weather predicted weather for this summer so I may have past data which I can use to find out what the relationship between the temperature and the sale of sunglasses is and based on that relationship I can predict how many sunglasses I may be able to sell given the weather predictions for this season. Now that's a typical example of a supervised learning technique. So regression analysis falls under the supervised learning technique because um, you have a predictor set of variables and then you also have a response set of variables and you're trying to determine the values for the response variable with changes in the predictor variable. On the other hand, unsupervised learning algorithms and learning techniques uh, only cover input variables. So there are no output variables as such from the model. Um, now they, that may be um, hard to imagine, but think of an example where the business wants to um, categorize or classify its customers into different clusters based on their lifestyles and spending habits. Now in this particular um, scenario we only have an input data set which would be the characteristics of each of your customer and then based on those characteristics you can create clusters um, and basically divide each of your customer and put them into one of the clusters and then have separate marketing strategies for each cluster. Um, now that's an unsupervised learning algorithm. There is no response variable that we are looking for or we are trying to predict. Instead, we're just trying to understand our data better and identify what the different patterns or behaviors are within our data set. So just to clarify more on the, the classes of descriptive and predictive techniques and um, which models fall under each, if you refer to slide number four in the lecture deck, uh, you'll see that there's a nice table that summarizes um, and compares descriptive data mining techniques and predictive data mining techniques. Now, uh, descriptive analysis is used to mine data and provide the latest information on past and re or recent events. On the other hand, predictive analysis provides answers of the future queries that move across using historical data as, as the chief um, factor for decisions. Data mining tasks can be descriptive, predictive, or a third category called prescriptive analytics. But today we're only going to focus on the first two, descriptive and predictive. Um, here we're just discussing the two of them. In simple words, uh, descriptive implicates discovering the interesting patterns or association relating the data, whereas predictive involves the prediction and classification of the behavior of the model founded on the current or past data. So descriptive mining is generally to produce correlation across tabulation and frequency, um, whereas predictive mining is used to predict future results instead of current behavior. Descriptive mining tasks describe the characteristics of the data in the target data set, uh, whereas on the other hand, predictive carries out the induction over the current and past data so that predictions can be made. In terms of accuracy, um, the prescriptive technique is more precise and accurate compared to predictive mining. And predictive mining analysis also involves uh, some sort of control over the situation along with responding to it while descriptive analysis just responds to the situation. So if I use my previous example of sunglasses and temperature in the summer, then um, basically the temperature fact variable in this model um, is sort of I can play around with it and see the response in the sales of the sunglasses. So it allows for some sort of control in the situation and that is true for most predictive data mining techniques. The operation performed in the descriptive approach 
our standard reporting and it answers questions like what happened what exactly is the problem what is the frequency of the problem on the other hand um, predictive mining performs tasks like predictive modeling forecasting simulation and that answers questions like what is the outcome if the trends continue what will happen next what actions are required to be taken so descriptive mining employs unsupervised learning functions while predictive involves supervised learning techniques. This is the reason the descriptive analysis is not able to anticipate the unknown target values but concentrate more on the intrinsic arrangement, interconnections and relations. On the other hand, predictive mining um, specifies and distinguishes a set of data for future prediction. So now that we have um, clarified the distinction between descriptive mining models and predictive mining models, um, let's uh, list down some of the more popular techniques. And these are going to be the techniques that we're going to cover as a part of this week's module. So um, under descriptive mining, the more popular techniques are clustering analysis, association analysis, and text binding. Now all three of these models listed are descriptive mining techniques uh, but we're not going to cover all three of them because of the amount of time that will be involved in covering all three. So we're going to focus our attention on clustering analysis and we're going to talk about clustering analysis in a little bit more detail and in another video that I'm going to add on to this week's lecture plan. Um, for the purpose of this video, we're only going to cover the introduction and um, the first step in any um, data mining model analysis, which is to prepare your data set. So, with, and that, that step is basically common across both predictive mining and descriptive mining techniques. Um, now, we've listed some of the popular descriptive mining techniques, but on the other hand, predictive mining, uh, there are a bunch of techniques that are out there, but we're going to focus only on the popular ones, um, being the classification models. And even under classification models, you have a number of models um, that we can go into the details for, but we're going to focus basically on just um, introducing regression trees, decision trees, and classification through logistic regression. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, KNN, which is another predictive data mining technique. And um, Finally, we're just going to touch up upon the diff other different types of classification algorithms that are out there, but we may not have time to cover them in the level of detail that we're going to cover um, logistic regression or KNN or regression trees. So um, just keep in mind that if you know which model is used for what purpose, you can then dig deeper and find out more about the methodology of that specific model. Um, because for us to be able to cover in one module, it won't be, there won't be sufficient time to go over all the models and how the analysis is conducted. Now, um, I'm going to talk about a little more about the division of material across this presentation. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see that the first part of the presentation talks about descriptive analytics techniques in data mining. Um, and it has a bunch of information on clustering analysis, uh, which we're going to revisit in another video. Uh, but at the end of it, it has a slight overview of association rules or association analysis uh, because we won't have enough time to cover the complete methodology behind association rules. Um, I just want you to be familiar with the topic of association rules and where it's used. Um, a typical application of association rules 